Well, a new round of convictions tied to a notorious former Chicago police detective dismissed. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox announcing today her office would not oppose an effort to toss eight murder cases involving ex-officer Reynaldo Guevara. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley joins us now with details. Hey, Tamon. Hey, Dana. Hey, Ray. In 2019, State's Attorney Kim Fox began a comprehensive review of misconduct allegations involving infamous police detective Reynaldo Guevara. Today, Fox found eight more convictions her office can no longer stand behind. This morning, State's Attorney Kim Fox sent multiple prosecutors to the Cook County Courthouse to vacate eight homicide convictions tied to former Chicago police detective Reynaldo Guevara. We no longer believe in the validity of these convictions or the credibility of the evidence of these convictions. Dozens of men have accused Guevara, the notorious former Area 5 detective, of misconduct. In February, WGN's Lourdes Duarte aired a story featuring Guevara's accusers. They say the detective manipulated witnesses and fabricated evidence. The allegations are varied um, throughout many of the cases, some in which it is suggested that he manipulated photo arrays, where he manipulated uh, lineups. When questioned, Guevara pleads the fifth. The behavior of Detective Guevara ranges and courts, not just this office, courts have found that he has engaged in a pattern and practice of illicit behavior where we can no longer have credibility in his work. To restore trust in the criminal justice system, Fox has made it a priority to review past police misconduct. Writing these wrongs is a method of public safety. It is telling people who live in those neighborhoods who know that this behavior has occurred, that we hear them, we don't stand for it, we will correct it to give ourselves legitimacy and credibility for them to work with us. Fox's announcement comes as her office faces new scrutiny following recent resignations, including veteran prosecutor James Murphy, who on his way out the door slammed Fox's leadership. Fox says the turnover is in part due to the pandemic. The reality is, that we are in the midst of what has been designated as the great resignation, and we have not been spared. As whether she will seek a third term, Fox would only say she's focused right now on doing the people's work, Ray and Dina. All right, interesting. Tamon, thanks so much. And today's move by the Cook County prosecutors sparked cheers of joy at the Cook County Courthouse. WGN's Brona Tumulty joins us from our newsroom with the reaction. Brona? Good evening, guys. Yeah, lots of cheering and plenty of happy tears as well. Many people there at the courthouse hardly even able to believe this day had finally come. Two of the seven exonerated today were still behind bars, and both of them are free men tonight. I gotta make up a lot. See you one day, you know? Alfredo Gonzalez stood in the sunshine today, finally a free man. I'm still in Chuck. I, I still can't believe it. I see, I see it. I'm not here. He was arrested for murder in 1990 and then wrongfully convicted of it, spending his life behind bars since then until today. Life goes on. You know, now I'm going to visit my mother, visit some mother family. Saturday we have a meeting with the family. So. It'll be, a, it'll be a nice day, blessing moment. Stay positive, stay out of trouble. His was one of seven murder convictions overturned Tuesday inside the courtrooms at 26th in California. Among the cases thrown out was that of Marilyn Malero, who spent almost three decades behind bars, tossed into prison at just 21 years old, leaving behind two little boys. They were robbed of me being a mother to them. And you were robbed as well. And I was robbed as well, yes. Malero is the first woman exonerated in a number of cases connected to the alleged misconduct of former CPD detective Rinaldo Guevara, who worked on the west side of Chicago in the 1980s and 90s. Nelson Gonzalez knows exactly what Malero went through because he spent 25 years in prison on a wrongful conviction, telling us he's humbled to finally have his name cleared. You know, it's my rebirth. Um, I'm glad that people can see me for who I really am. The others exonerated today include Carlos Andino, who'd been serving a 60-year sentence, along with Johnny Flores, who did 20 years, Jaime Rios, who spent 18 years behind bars, and David Colon, who was incarcerated for more than two decades. But of the eight exonerations expected today, one didn't happen. The judge in Lewis Robinson's proceedings decided the process had to play out a little further. Lewis Robinson, you know, we will continue to fight for you. The cases vacated today are amongst many, many others tied to Guevara. All of you guys have been exonerated. Show your hand. Show that you're here.
But we're told to have so many exonerated in a single day is nothing short of historic. It's never happened in the city of Chicago, and at least as far as I'm aware, and I've been doing this for nearly two decades, I don't think it's ever happened in the history of the United States. Now, Guevara currently lives in Texas. He retired from CPD in 2005, and it's understood he's been picking up more than, he's picking up a pension here with the city since then, more than a million dollars in pension benefits, exactly. He has never been criminally charged. He is, however, facing about a dozen civil lawsuits from people who say they were wrongfully convicted based on his investigations. We're live in the newsroom. Bruno Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Bruno.